What's up everybody, Steve here. We are back, some more cards from PSA, really happy. I think I got around a thousand back this month. We're slowly working through them. I'm slowly working through listing them. Thank you so much to everyone who has, you know, I put these videos up and then you know, I lazily list the items over the next week or two and then people find them from the videos and they go and buy them off me. So, you know, big shout outs if you do that. I appreciate it. You know, there's no pressure to buy anything or do anything. My whole channel, feel free, join the Discord, ask some questions, ask me, ask Steve. It's all free. That's what we're here for. So I just like showing off my cards pretty much because I think that's pretty fun. Let's start this. We've got around 90 cards. PSA has been blasting through things. I've been quite lazy with the return submissions. We've got a Pikachu V-Star Universe. A lot of these cards I did buy in Japan. And if I do remember it, I'll uh, talk about it in the video. This one here, I bought this in Japan as well. So this one I did not buy in Japan. I bought this in... Oh, I bought that online. This one I did. I bought a Trainer Mag set in Tokyo. I got uh, the birds, all three birds. I don't know if all three of them graded 10. This actually, I did buy this in Japan, I remember. Let me put this here, Rayquaza Poncho PSA 9. Now this, I'm gonna be honest. I think this is a little bit too high of a grade for this card because I bought this, is this the same one? I'm pretty sure it is. I bought this in a store in Osaka called, oh, I can't remember. It, it's in It's in the vlogs. You see me zoom in on a Rayquaza Poncho and everything, and I'm like, oh my god, Rayquaza Poncho is a 100,000 yen. It's got a few scratches here. I think this should be a 7, but obviously, you know, they graded a 9. I'm going to sell it as a 9. That's just how it is. I thought it was near mint, so, you know, I'm very happy with the grade, but I think it's a little bit overgraded. But yeah, I bought this for 100,000 yen. Pretty good. Rockets Raikou, I bought this from a store... I remember the name of all these stores. This is in Osaka as well. This is 4,000 yen. Very happy with that. This is very sad, getting a 9 on a modern card. I bought this one in Chiba from a store called... Oh, man, I forgot. It's in the Chiba section. I actually sh went there on the second day, and I saw this card, <laughs> and I didn't buy it. And then I went back on the last day, right before I went to the, to the, to the airport, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'll go have a look. PSA 9 birthday Pikachu. That's pretty good. This one I did list for sale. I've pretty much listed all the nines and below. I, I list in a weird way. I generally like to start with like the cheapest cards first because they have the like least amount of time that goes into listing them. Like I know how much, like a PSA 9, like this card in particular, this card, I'll probably list this for like, you know, $80, $70 because I know how much it cost me. I know how much the grading was. And it's not really that much. It's not a big deal. But, you know, a card's like the spiky eared Pikachu, when it, when it gets a 10, I have to put a little bit more effort into, like, finding the price, checking the sold, checking the active listing. So I like to leave the 10s for last. And that, that's pretty much reason, any reason. So I'll probably list this spiky eared Pichu set as a sequential PSA 10 set. And I think that's pretty cool. A lot of people like that. 73, 74, 75. I even submitted them in the same order. That's pretty good. A Raikou, Swaycone, a Legend. I don't know why I said it like that. Pichu DP Card Exchange. I don't know if I bought this in Japan. Did I buy that in Japan? You guys would probably know better than me. Pidgeot, Delta Species. Gentleman's Pikachu. I think I only have one of these left. So there was a bit of Edgeware at the top there. Is that Edgeware? Maybe. That's something. Happens a lot on the Sun and Moon cards. More Reds Pikachus. We have a... Gift box, Pikachu, PSA 6. That's a lot higher than I thought it was going to get. Bit of edge roll over. I bought this in a Surugaya in uh, Tokyo, all the way out of Tokyo. That one day I went down to Endor Games. I bought the Mewtwo and the Pikachu from a store. We got a Fraligator, another V Star Universe Pikachu, another Reds Pikachu, another Reds Pikachu. This one I think I bought online. Why are we getting an 8 on this card? What is wrong with me? Does it just have a bit of wear? Okay, right here, you see? A little bit of a dent. PSA? Not letting anything go by. Mario Pikachu. I referenced this card a long time ago on a mail day. I think someone messaged me on Instagram. Like, like Steve, when are you, when are you going to sell that Mario Pikachu? When are you going to grade that? And I bought this with the half art Mario. Oh, this one right here. <laughs> what am I? I'm holding it in my hand. It's right here. I bought this with the half art Mario for around, I'm just going to use AUD, for around $3,000. But I also got four Eevee ponchos, and they all graded 10s as well. So 
they take out a big chunk of the purchase price. So this half art might pay for all the Pichu, or all the Poncho EVs and the full art if I sell the half art alone. So the full art I'll be listing for sale, but it'll probably be higher than a normal price as it'll be like one of the last Mario Pikachus I'll probably ever have because they are really expensive. And then look at this on my slab. They've like completely scratched it. Bunch of Ninkum poops. Oh, you have a Pikachu M level X10 and a Jolteon EX10. Now that's really, really cool. Deoxys, Kabutops, the nine game, and then a Mewtwo 10 Meiji chocolate. See, like all the nines, I'm, I'm pretty like, I know what they, I remember seeing them when I've been listing them, but all the tens, I mean, I scanned maybe 1200 cards in the span of like three or four days on my scan. I just pressing the button, spin it, press the button, spin it. <laughs> Sorry. And I was, while I was sick, actually, I had the cough. I, all I could do was just scan. So I'm a little bit behind in my workflow, with the Meganium 9 and Dark Marowak 9. Because usually I would get the cards back, do the video first, then sort them and then scan them and then list them. I've had to do the scanning part and the sorting before I do the listing and video because I was sick. I had the coughs and I could feel one coming now. That's why I'm dancing around my words. Requires the EX Dragon Blade, some Dragon type cards, Latias. Lucky, ooh, Latios EX, Latias, Legendary Shine. I'm pretty happy with those. Dragonair, Thunder Knuckle. I love this Dragonite Emerald Break. All the drag. There's so many. Is there a bad Dragon type Pokemon? Let me think. Dragon type Pokemon, bad one. Black Karun, Machoke. Ooh, Machamp, nice. Machamp Little Eggs, nice. Flygon. You know, actually, all the PSA cards I've got back, I think around a thousand, I said something like that. Plus, I've listed some backstock ones, so like I've, some of these cards might not even be from recent submissions. 99% of them are. I don't think I've gotten into the box yet with the non-recent submission stuff, but it's, um, I'm, I'm feeling like the grades have been pretty good. Like, you know, if I got a 9 on a card, I'm not looking at it being like, oh, is there a chance for like a regrade sort of thing here? I think out of every card, I pulled aside one, and then I had a better look at it as a 9, and I was like, all right, I'm not going to try and regrade this. And, you know, that I don't normally try to regrade things, but I'll, honestly, when I think that a card gets a 9, and I think, you know what, I think that is gem mint, that's not actually mint, well, you know, I will try my best, but, you know, maybe in the last, I think I've graded 17,000 cards with PSA now, and I've probably cracked 100, and I have on my shelf, I'll be honest, I have around 80. So that's a less than, I guess that's around 1%, right? Is that 1%? That would be 1% of the cards that I'm grading that I'm unhappy with the grade. Now, I don't know of the results of, you know, anything special here. I was kind of just waffling. Gliscor, Groudon EX, Palo Swine, Kamiya, Champ Level X, nice. Yeah, I'm not really one for cracking and resubmitting like multiple over and over and over again, but if I can try, I'm always going to try. We got the Lucario Level X. And I don't fault anyone for trying to do the same. It's just the nature of the beast with grading. Giovanni's and another pile of swing. They don't want to give me that Camille card in a 10. And then we got the psychic cards. Hopefully some good ones. I'm, I'm really happy with the fact that I decided to grade these in the colors. So they come back in the colors. One less step of sorting I don't have to do. Look at this beautiful swirl. Such a nice card. Is it two? There's a swirl on the right hand side too. And the left hand side. Wow, that's crazy. Because there's, yeah, there's one there and there's one there. Swells that make, swells make the girls. Swells mean, I don't know what that means. Yeah, this is a blunder. This is an L. I bought this in Japan for 40,000 yen, thinking I would chance a PSA 10 Masagi, or at least a PSA 9. And it's pretty clean, it's just not there yet. Fortunately, Mew EX, Bubble Mew, love the texture on that. It looks absolutely amazing. Gotta list those. Ooh, Shining Mew, Koro Koro, PSA 10. I mean, that's uh, not bad. You know? You know, that's not bad. I love the, like, the colors on this card are absolutely incredible. You know, compare it to like a normal reverse foil that they also made around the same time, even two years prior, I guess. 
but like you know just look at the way the light like hits the cards you know it's just yeah they did really well giving this card full gloss lenticular deoxys pretty cool card where he transforms into three different types so the space fissure lenticular deoxys whatever they call it and then we have a PSA 8 shiny miniature. The reason why this got an 8 is likely because of the centering, top to bottom. Both of those Mews are, or this Mew and the other Mew I bought in Japan, and the Southern Islands Mew as well. This card's actually pretty clean. I'm not going to lie, there is like not much edgeware going on here. And look how clean that back is. Oh, there's a little bit of dirt at the top left there. Oh, imagine if I cleaned that off. That might have been a PSA 9. Ooh. It looks like there's a scratch on the front there. You can see it. Scratch. Oh, my thumb is terrible. That's what it, this is what fingers look like after you go outside and play with a dog. And she took a chunk out of my finger. Gengar Level X. This was the card that I was like, out of all the cards I graded, I was like, this might be a chance for a PSA 10. Because it was it's it's actually so clean. But I think I zoomed in on the scan and I saw something somewhere. Or just can't remember, there's been too many cards. I, I don't know if it was like the front left corner or something or... But is what it is, Boba Fett. I bought this in person along with my Snorlax at that same store. Got destroyed. Drip Loon got destroyed. Giratina Hollow got destroyed. I forgot which store I went to, but it was one of them. I picked up a bunch of like mid-era cards, hollow cards, and they all... They're not a hard 10, and that's why they're not worth very much, but I got 10s on a lot of them. Bought a Slowpoke Trainers Mag out there, so hopefully I can sell some of those because I have like six or seven sets ready to grade. This is the Mewtwo Gold Star that I bought alongside the Pikachu Gold Star in uh, Sarugia. Giratina Level X is another card I was looking at for regrading. So, I mean, it's very, it's pretty clean, but it did have this like edge where at the top right there, and I was like, eh, I'm not gonna. You know, I want to try and do it if it's definitive, not if it's like chance worthy. And then this Gengar Prime has like damage in the top right, and you know. I can say, like, you know, I've had 10s with this kind of stuff before, but I feel like that's very disingenuous to, like, resubmit a damaged card over and over again to try and, like, get a higher grade. I feel like it actually has to be a gem mint qualifier. Beautiful gold star Alakazam, PSA 9. I have no idea where I got this from, but I got it. This is not that great of a condition for PSA 9. I think I'll have to price it. It's got a bunch of edgeware at the top there. I mean, that's why it's a 9, because it has edgeware, but... Yeah, I've seen better nines. This probably is, probably should be an eight. Look at me talking my own cards down. I'm going to lose money. God of our EX, Special Rare, Mewtwo, Mew, Dream Shine. We've seen millions of those on this channel. Or Slowbro, Slowbro. We got Slowbro Fire of Legends. So, overall, I'm pretty happy. You know, I'm, I'm going to pull these cards out. I pulled these out for a reason. And this one, I probably won't be doing a video on these because I actually want to sell these. I want to sell these sooner than later, you know, get some money back in the bank account because I've been kind of spend happy the past few uh, years. And this is the Tropical Wind. I bought this one in Japan. And this is my other Tropical Wind from my collection. And, you know, I'm not really liking this card too much lately. Like, I do love the artwork and it's an amazing looking card, don't get me wrong. But I don't need two of them. The cards that I have in my collection, I'm much happier with. I still have a Victory Orb and a Victory Ring in my collection in the original display cases. So I'm happy to keep those over PSA 10s. I never would have thought these would get PSA 10s. Funny story about these Tropical Winds. They charged me $300 to grade this PSA 5. No, 249 to grade this PSA 9. But on the PSA 6, they didn't upcharge me at all, which I think is quite funny. I don't know what's going on there. But I'm actually going to send these away to auction. So if you see these up at an auction house, that's the reason why. But... Yeah, overall, pretty happy. Pretty happy with some 10s on these cards. Other than that, pretty fast grading returns. I don't want these to waffle on and go on forever, you know? I just, you know, I'll have the videos where I talk and I talk and I talk. The grading returns, I just want to show off the cards, talk about them a little bit, show what the hollow patterns and stuff look like, and we want to get on with it. But today I have been recording my day in the life sort of vlog for the next week so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday maybe a saturday sunday i'll do five videos across seven days and i'll just show you the stuff i do every day 
I'm using this camera right here, so I can't record while I'm recording this. This is very sad, but other than that, hope you guys enjoy those. Hope you guys enjoyed everything. Join the Discord, have some fun in there. Mingle, mingle with Coop's collection. My name's Steve. Oh, I might go eat some dinner. And then keep working. <laughs> See you later.